Hello, and may the fourth be with you. In honor of the day, I'll be evaluating the structural integrity of the Hoff Shield Generator from Empire Strikes Back. I will be using Altair SimSolid to simulate the thermal expansion stresses. Now let's jump into simulation. Our first step is we need to import our Shield Generator geometry. This particular CAD geometry is an SDL file. With SimSolid's unique CAD reader, SDL files can be imported and simulated without any geometry modification. Additionally, traditional BREP geometry can also be imported into SimSolid. After import, we can begin to set up our model by setting up the thermal analysis. The planet Hoff is surrounded by a sun, so we will apply a sunbeam onto our shield generator with typical values for solar flux. According to the Star Wars universe, Fans believe the temperature to be very cold on Hoff, at around minus 60 degrees Celsius. So that's what I'll apply. The last thing I'll apply will be the heat load while the shield is running. I will utilize a value similar to large generators here on Earth. Since this generator sits outside in the snow, it needs to be a strong but temperature resistant material. So I will use titanium. With our model set up, we can now run and visualize results. We can quickly see there's a large thermal gradient which will influence the thermal stresses incurred on our generator. Now we can link our thermal loads to a structural study by first right clicking on our thermal study and hitting linked analysis. This option will automatically apply the thermal loads generated from the heat transfer study to our structural study. We can also apply some structural boundary conditions. First, let's apply an immovable restraint since the shield generator sits in the ground. We will also apply a pressure load in the generator. The pressure load will represent the effect of snow sitting on top of the generator. I'll utilize a higher pressure value to represent three feet of dense, wet snow. With the model set up, we can now run and look at our results. The first result we look at is displacement, which is rather minimal, which makes sense due to the thermal contraction from the cold. However, when we look at stresses, we can see some critical stress locations. In particular, where the shaft meets the outer rings of the shield generator, there are a few locations where it exceeds yield stress. So in this case, it's imperative to the rebels they either clear the snow or have repair techs out to make sure these mechanical failures don't occur or get worse. With SimSolid, I was able to easily visualize and query any result in this model in a fraction of the time. I want to wish you all a happy 4th of May and hope this video has illustrated the power and usefulness of SimSolid. To learn more about SimSolid or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.